uh, any questions in the middle of my explanation, please uh, uh, maybe raising your hand. I, I may not uh, be able to see. OK, just uh, disturb me. Uh, yeah, just 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 tell me that uh, uh, to pause and ask question okay, throughout the, this uh, uh, lecture. OK, so we are going to look at this moment distribution method. Uh, have I record? Let me see. OK, so by the end of this uh, lesson, OK, so uh, students should be able to uh, formulate the member stiffness. Uh, uh, this is not member stiffness matrix, huh? member stiffness only. OK, so you are dealing with the stiffness method for three weeks. So now we don't talk about matrices. OK, we talk about uh, distribution. OK, and then uh, uh, we are going to learn in this lesson as well the distribution factor and what is the carryover factor and the stiffness uh, modification factor. OK, so uh, please. Uh, 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 this is a new terms for moment distribution uh, method and we are going to apply the formula OK or the concept OK uh, in this lesson and we need to uh, you need to make sure you can apply fixed end moments, okay, due to external loadings and support settlements. I think this number two, you have uh, done that before in your uh, stiffness methods, which is uh, dealing with Q0. If you still remember, you are determining for uh, fixed end reactions, okay, but now you are just to find the fixed end moments, okay. The vertical reactions, uh, yeah, 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 you, 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 you do not need, okay, to find in this moment distribution method. Only the moments, okay. So I, I suppose uh, number two, okay, you are almost there, okay. So let's uh, have Peter, a yes. Sorry, yes. I cannot see the slide. You cannot see my slide. Let me see. Rishi. Can you see? Uh, yes, thank you, Adam. OK, thank you. So now this is a, a concept behind or background of this moment distribution methods. If you can see that, it relies on a series of calculations that are repeated and that with every cycle come closer to the final situation. So meaning at uh, for this uh, moment distribution method, you are going to repetitively calculate, okay, uh, uh, the moment distribution means that you distribute you distribute the moment here and there and repeatedly distribute again and again until you uh, your answer is close to the final situation, okay. So in this way, we are able to avoid solving simultaneous equation, okay. Uh, so and then uh, show this the final end moment depends on uh, this the fixed end moments and so on. OK, so meaning that uh, in these um, methods, we don't need to solve any uh, simultaneous equation, like for example, in your uh, uh, stiffness method and also uh, uh, flexibility method. We don't need, OK, we just distribute the moment. OK, at the end, we find the solution, OK? So uh, let's have a look. At OK, so this is the uh, overall concept okay, behind. But uh, of course, uh, 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 this is just a, a concept. OK, so uh, uh, later there will be a guideline or a strategy uh, step by step showing you uh, using a table on how to apply this basic concept. OK, to make sure this moment distribution happen. OK, so let's have a look on this, uh, uh, the first uh, 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 figure. OK, so this is the uh, real structure, OK, where you have a fix at A, fix at B, roller at B and C, if you have a loading, OK, in between this B, C. And the process uh, for moment distribution is rotation is possible at both B and C. OK, this is for real case, 
yes, it is true because this is a uh, roller. Okay, if you remember our uh, this uh, supports condition for fix, the rotation is uh, is not permitted. Okay, but at roller or pin, okay, the rotation is possible. Okay, and in this method, the rotation at B and C are prevented and the load is applied. So now, it in uh, in this method we assume that it is fixed okay uh, and uh, we don't allow any rotation so because of that the fixed end reaction will uh, will happen okay it means that fixed fixed end reactions uh, will will be induced here because of the fixed fixed condition so we call this initial moments okay and then we start to allow b to rotate until the moment uh, equilibrium is reached. If you can see that, just now at B and C, at the real case, the rotation is allowed. But in this method, we fix it. Okay, we fix this B and C. And then when it it, it, it is fixed, fix and moment come in. Okay, and then we start to allow this B to have a rotation. But at C, we still fix it. Okay, then it's, uh, it starts okay to induce a moment okay to see this rotation if you can see that there are deflections shown here the moment also start to distribute distribute okay it distribute to c distributes to a okay then then allow the c to rotate until the moment equilibrium is reached okay meaning that it start if, if you see that the c is supposedly fixed and now okay b is fixed and c is 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 uh, uh, release okay so it means it, it allowed the rotation so it start to distribute the moments then this process repeat and repeat until the moment equilibrium is reached at the nodes okay of course I will tell you on when okay when it is supposed to uh, you supposed to stop the process okay so this is the uh, background of this okay uh, uh, concept means that uh, overall okay uh, at the uh, internal uh, supports okay so uh, we fixed okay the uh, the supports okay creating the fixed end moments then we release the supports so that the moment can be I mean the distribute to other joints and the distributions go on until equilibrium is reached of course, uh, these are all the uh, derivation. You can have a look on this later. Okay, so this patch. Okay. So these derivations come to the uh, what is the meaning of uh, distribution factor and what is the meaning of carryover factor. Okay. Here, okay. Uh, uh, in this slide, so we have uh, a summary out from the uh, derivations earlier. Okay, how to uh, determine the member stiffness factor, the K. Okay, it is still uh, using the K. Okay, it's very common. Uh, K is used for stiffness. Okay, but now it is not member stiffness matrix. It is member stiffness factor. Okay, so here there is rules here. If for internal member or far end member fixed at in, okay, or maybe you can uh, 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 put a, 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 I mean, the tips here for yourself, okay, when everything is at the fixed, fixed condition, okay. Uh, if you still remember, we have assumed the internal support as fixed. OK, so meaning that this B, OK, you can treat it as fixed. OK, at C, you can treat it as fixed. OK, of course, at D is fixed. OK, but this is only uh, uh, the B and C is roller, OK, at real. Only at this method, we treat that as fixed. OK, so when this B, C, D are fixed, that means this member stiffness factor, okay, for member BC and member DE, you use these equations for EI over L. Okay, so for internal member 
okay, or far end member that fix at the end, or simply to say fix fix condition, you apply for EI over L. Okay. So, of course, uh, be careful. The EI will depend on that span's EI and the length will depend on that span uh, itself. Okay. And then you uh, you might want to ask why this KBC equal to KCB. Actually, this naming is, uh, uh, yeah, you will, uh, uh, it, 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 it is actually the, for the same span. Okay. So only the naming is dif different, okay, because we are going to use this later, okay, this is the different names, okay, so that we won't confuse. So, but CB, BC are the same spans. You just need to one, uh, find one Sony. And, and similarly, CD and DC, the, the same, okay, because uh, they start to uh, referring this span from joint C, therefore the naming is KCD. When it's uh, uh, start from D to give a naming for that spans, it start with KDC. Okay, so next, okay, another condition is when far end member pin or roller at the end support. So now this is fixed, right? Okay, this is pin. Okay, when this is pin or this is roller, of course at the far end. Far end means that at the at the N, okay, okay, it's pin or roller. We use this K equal to 3 EI over L. Okay, so K, A, B, A, B, A are the same. So this member will be uh, using 3 EI over L. Okay, so what if I add another condition? What if it is cantilever N? So K will be equal to 0. Okay, so please add in your uh, notes. So now, this modification for the stiffness factor. Okay, if you want to shorten your calculation and if your beam has this symmetrical uh, geometry and the loadings, okay, you can uh, uh, calculate, the, I mean, uh, uh, analyze the beam uh, for half of the beam only. Okay, and this stiffness factor for the center spans, this center spans supposed to be supposed to be 4 EI over L. We are going to use 2 EI over L. Okay, but if you do not want to carry out a half beam, you want to carry out for the full beam, okay, there is no problem. So you don't need to modify uh, this. You just use the 4 EI over L. Okay, this is just for uh, when the uh, have this uh, spe uh, specific uh, condition, symmetrical geometry and loading, and you want to cut short your calculation. Okay, so there is, uh, I mean, uh, 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 some uh, uh, equations that you can use. And uh, if your beam has this uh, symmetrical beam in the geometry, but with anti-symmetric loading, if you can see that loading, okay, anti-symmetric. Similarly, you can carry out only half beam, uh, half beam analysis and the K for the center span, BC, you use this K equal to 6 EI over L. Okay, so then let's just look. Uh, joint stiffness factor. Just now is member. Now we talk about the joint. Okay, joint also have their stiffness. How to determine the stiffness? We just sum up all the member stiffness factor. Okay, uh, let us give, uh, I mean, a revision back. Okay, uh, our first case is uh, when it, it is at the internal member or with a far end fixed condition, or I may want to uh, summarize that in this fixed fixed condition. May I know what is the key Equations. Anyone has jot down any notes? For e e e e e over e L. L. Yes. For E I over L. Okay. So when it is pin fix condition.
three e i o l thank you very much how about if it is cantilever Zero. 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 Thank you very much. Okay, so now these are all member stiffness uh, factor. Okay, this is member. Okay, stiffness stiffness factor. So now we want to look at the joint stiffness factor. We are just to sum up the member stiffness factor. How to sum up? Let us have a look at KB. Okay, at joint B. So you need to see how many members they attach to B. So they are uh, member B A. Uh, if you can see that now, I use B A, okay, because I'm I'm referring to K B, okay, and then member B C, okay. So you just sum up the member uh, stiffness factor at K B A, which is pin fixed condition, three E I over L, and K B C, which is fixed fixed condition, which is four E I over L. So you get your joint stiffness factor. Okay, let's try for KC. Okay, KC join C then you refer to any member, okay, that connect to C. Okay, so this beam is very, I mean, uh, 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 straightforward. What if there is a frame structure? There will be more member that connect to a joint. Okay, you just need to sum up all the member stiffness factor at that particular joint. Okay, so KCB, there are two member. The, uh, 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 member CB, member CD. Okay, so member CB and member CD, they are all have the fixed fixed condition. So 4EI over L plus 4EI over L. Okay, be careful lah. This EI and the L will be referring to, um, I mean, the, the member itself. Okay, so uh, you shall not write 4EI over L multiply to no one. Uh. Okay. So now we have learned member stiffness factor, joint stiffness factor. Actually, that factor is for us to determine this distribution factor. Okay. So if you know that very well, you can directly write your distribution factor using this equation. Okay. You don't need to, uh, I mean, the, uh, determine so many phases because your, your aim is to determine the distribution factor. Okay. What is the distribution factor? It is the member stiffness factor divided by the joint stiffness factor. Okay, so let us have a look on this uh, DFAB. Mm, maybe uh, let us uh, start with BA. Okay, BA distribution BA member stiffness factor. Okay, so uh, uh, first of all, way to determine the DF. We 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 know very clear way to get the uh, sorry to get the uh, member stiffness factor. Every member you are you need to have a member stiffness factor. Okay, we are very clear also way to get the joint stiffness factor. At every joint you are going to have one joint stiffness factor. But where to get this DF? Okay, so the position to get the DF is at the end of a member. So before I go to the uh, calculation, you shall determine the F for A, B, the F for B, A. So at this member number, uh, for member A, B, you, you have these two distribution factor at the end, okay? And for B, C, you have a D, F, B, C, and D, F, C, B, okay? For CD, how about for this CD? It will be DF plus CD and DC. Yes, very good. So at total, you need to determine six distribution factor. Okay, of course, uh, I will tell you uh, <laughs> some of things that you can uh, cut short. Okay, so for example, this uh, distribution BA, okay, uh, the the equation is actually KBA, the member stiffness factor, divided by the joint stiffness factor at B because BA is actually at B, right? So it will be at KB. I will write KB like this. Okay, so the formula is uh, something like that. So and KB, you know that uh, uh, is actually KBA plus KBC, right? So if you want to write in uh, uh, member stiffness uh, factor, 
uh, the, this will be the equation. Okay, let us find uh, the KBA. Before we proceed, let us uh, 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 do get the revision back. So what is the KAB here? Is 3EI over L1, right? So for this K, B, C, or K, C, B, I don't write too much. Okay, here, it'll be 4 EI over L2. Okay, K, C, D, or K, D, C, there will be 4 EI over L cube. Okay, therefore, here, if you can see that K, B, A is actually K, A, B as well. So it'll be 3 EI over L1 here. Just put it here. Okay, and then K, B, A plus K, B, C. So KBA is also KAB. Okay, it will be 3EI over L plus 4EI over L2. So you put it here. Then you can determine your DF, BA. Uh, are you clear, class? Am I too fast? Okay, maybe we try again for DF, uh, uh, the other B, uh, DF. Huh? So let us continue with, uh, oops, can I rewrite here? Okay, so KAB, maybe I need to rewrite full so that you won't confuse. KBA or KAB is the same. They are 3EI over L1 for this span. KBC or KCB, they are 4EI over L2. And KCD or KDC, oops, oops, is 4EI over L3. Okay, if I want to write this DFBC before I write the uh, formula so advanced, I want to uh, make it clear first. So what is my uh, formula? There will be member stiffness uh, factor because you are referring to BC. So you are referring to KBC. And oops, missing. Okay. So this is DF. Give me some time, huh? if not later, B, A, oops, D, F, B, C, D, F, C, B, D, F, C, D, D, F, D, C. Okay, so now at K, B, C is here, is here. So it attached also still with B, okay? It is K, B. Or if you want to directly write, KBC is KB is actually KBC plus K what? B -A -A. Yes. B -A -A. yes, 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 very good. Okay, because there are two members that attach to it, you just write according to, <laughs> uh, because you are referring to B, so you just write BC and BA. Okay, if you want to write KAB and KCB, there is no problem at all. Okay, just don't make yourself confused. Okay, so KBC just refer to KBC. It's here, 4 EI over L squared. Okay, so you put it, oh, not L squared, L2. Okay, and then KBC uh, referring to 4 EI over L2 and KBA referring to 3 EI over L1. Okay, so when you are, I mean, uh, getting more and more familiar, <laughs> you can skip this formula, you can directly put in uh, into this. Okay, so I will still continue with this. Okay, so and then K D F C B. Okay, will be K C B following this. Okay, divide now K C B is here. It start with C. Okay, it is here. Okay, so the joint will be referring to C. So meaning that K C B divide by K C B plus K C D because they are two member. That attached to it. So you just substitute it. Uh, what is the KCB here? KCB is 4EI over L2. Okay, here. And then KCD is 4EI over L3. Okay, so you can continue with CD. I suppose you have no problem about this. Okay, but I want to highlight this one. Let me.
So I want to highlight on this K A D F A B. Okay, when it is at the end, okay. So uh, what should we do? There is no other no other uh, uh, member here. Okay, what shall we do with this? Okay, so it will be uh, 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 looking at the uh, support itself. If you can see that D F uh, A B is actually K A B divided by K A. Okay, so it is actually K A B plus K A B plus the spin support. Stiffness. Okay, so you know that the pin support cannot, uh, uh, I mean, it will still allow for the rotation. Okay, therefore, for the pin support, the stiffness is zero. Okay, so for pin, for this N with pin, the DF will always equal to one. Okay, if you cannot remember equal to one, so you just remember that pin or roller support, the stiffness equal to zero. Okay, so how about when the support is fixed, like at D? Okay, so if you look at DC, it is actually KDC divided by KD. So at KD, they are member KDC and the fixed support. We are talking at the end only. Okay, the, uh, the one with the uh, far end with fixed. Okay, when this is fixed, okay, we have uh, so much uh, stiffness, okay, that can uh, that uh, not allow the uh, beam to deflect in any 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 circumstances. So the fix the K is infinity. Okay, that is why here. So when every any number is divided by infinity, you get the F equal to zero. So here, this is a rule for you to, uh, I mean, uh, uh, a guide. The F equal to one for pin, and the F equal to zero for fixed end. Okay, so you you no need to calculate this actually. If you can remember, the F equal to one is pin, the F equal to zero for fixed end. Okay, so now next uh, carry over factor. Okay, so for carry over factor, uh, there is only uh, uh, one value to uh, remember, which is half. Okay, so but uh, the uh, you you need to know. Okay, uh, way this carry over factor is to carry over the moments or distribute the moment to other joint. For example, if you can see the flow of this arrow, okay, B flow to A, A flow to B, okay, B flow to C, C flow to B, okay, D flow to C, C flow to uh, D. Okay, so we need to know the rules. Okay, whenever the, I mean the, uh, uh, the next joint is fixed, we carry over half of the moments. Okay, but if the other, if the other end is pin or cantilever, we don't carry over our moments. Okay, so if you can see that here, you don't need to provide this table in your calculation. This is just uh, to show. Uh, if you can see that, <laughs> uh, I hope this is <laughs> pin or cantilever here. Okay, if you can see that we don't carry over the moments here, it's zero. Okay, but B is fixed, so A can carry over half of the moment to B. Okay, now if at internal B and C are fixed, so in both ways C can carry half of the moment to B. And B can carry out uh, carry moment half to C, okay. And for C D both are fixed end, so meaning that C can move uh, transfer half of the moment to D, and D can transfer half to C. So be careful. Uh, this this is just uh, I mean uh, this will be applied in the table later, okay. So now let us uh, have a look on the procedure, okay. So we calculate the stiffness factor for each of the member. We calculate the distribution factor, okay, which involves uh, the member stiffness factor and the joint stiffness factor, actually. And then we determine the carryover factors, okay, uh, 
at both ends. Uh, I would say identify, uh -huh, carry out, uh, carry over factors for both ends of the member. And then we determine the fixed end moments. Okay. And then we uh, uh, start with the uh, uh, moment distribution table. Okay, in this moment distribution table, we need to balance uh, uh, the pin to zero and distribute half the moment to opposite end. Uh, I think for the five and six, I will I will explain later in the in in an example. Okay, and then uh, we are going to iterate number six seven. Okay, we uh, uh, do the iteration until the end of the join. Uh, the moment at the joint approaches zero. So when you calculate your moments, balance, you distribute and carry over, balance, distribute, carry over repeatedly, repeatedly until the moment equal to zero, then you stop it. Okay, so let us have a look on an example. We will try uh, it for a beam. Okay, so this is a positive sign. Okay, uh, Moments acting at uh, clockwise is positive. I have to make this uh, big. <laughs> Oops, dancing uh, also <laughs> because this is different from your stiffness method. If you still remember your stiffness fact, uh, stiffness method, count count anti clockwise or counter clockwise is positive. Okay, don't confuse. Okay, so do we have time? Yeah, maybe we can uh, start with this uh, example one, then we can have a break, okay? So now, we need to determine the internal moments at each support of the beam, okay? this uh, In this case, we have fixed uh, pin and fixed, okay? Uh, so, before we go to this, uh, maybe, uh, can you let me know, okay, for this, uh, member B, member A, B, what is the uh, uh, member stiffness factor, the equations? Yeah, thank you very much. 4EI over L, B, A, right? So it will be 4. The EI here is 2EI. So there will be 2EI. Okay, over L will be A. Okay, so this is how you do for your uh, uh, member stiffness factor. Okay, how about for BC? What equation you use? Four EI or three EI over L? Four EI. Yes, yes you are right because it is fixed fixed. At the internal, we will always assume it as a fix. Okay, in this method. But in at real, it is roller. Okay, so for EI over L. Okay, for BC. So EI right now is 3. So you just put in the 3 EI here. Okay, the length is at. Okay, so this is how you uh, do your member stiffness factor. Okay, so once you have done for your member stiffness factor, Okay, you can determine your distribution factor. Okay, so uh, yeah, this distribution factor uh, uh, I put in the in the table, but uh, uh, you can uh, put it in the equations like this. There is no problem. Okay, which I actually prefer to do that. Okay, so you can use this uh, uh, format. Okay, for your calculation, or you can put it in your table, in this table, such table. Okay, we know that at fixed end, df is equal to zero, right? So you no need to determine, actually, you just put it df equal to zero here. Okay, so I'm going to write in uh, in the equation form. So df, now we need to de determine df ab, df ba, DF, BC, okay, DF, CB, okay. So, of course, in the in the calculation, you don't need to show me. I just want to show you that you need to determine at this position. So, now DAAB is equal to zero. 
CB is equal to zero because of the fixed end. So now we just need to determine for this BA and BC. So for BA, so the formula is KBA divided by the joint KB. Okay, and KB, there are two members that connect to it. So it is member BA plus member BC. Okay, so we have determined earlier just now uh, for AB is EI. Okay, sorry, for AB, uh, for BC is 1.5 EI. Okay, so KAB will be equal to EI divided by EI plus 1.5 EI. So if you want to do it in the, I mean, in the equation form, so you get 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.4 here. Okay, so for DF, BC, the formula is KBC following this, okay, divide by, we are still referring to join B. So it will be KBA plus KBC, okay, which should be equal to KBC is 1.5 over EI, and KBA and KBC are still the same, EI plus 1.5 EI. So it will be 0 0.6. Okay, there is one thing that I need to highlight to you, which this DF that uh, uh, acting at a joint, no matter how many DF, okay, the summation of this DF must be equal to 1. Okay, so if you can see that, the summation of this is equal to 1. So next time, if there is only 2 D, DF, if you are very confident with this, DFBA, so DFBC, you can calculate just like 1 minus 0 0.4. You can directly get the answer. Okay, you don't need to perform all this. But if you want, if you're not that confident and you want to check the answer, so you just sum it up and it must equal to 1. Okay. So next, okay, uh, uh, let us uh, talk about the, oops, wow, 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 so let me, uh, let me talk about the carryover, okay, carryover factor, okay, uh, I will advise all to draw the carryover, the arrow <laughs> will be sufficient, okay, on your real case. Okay, before you start your uh, moment distribution table. Okay, just uh, draw an arrow if uh, you are able to transfer the moments, okay, to that joint. Okay, for example, A to B, can can A, can A moment at A transfer to B? Class? Yes. Yes. The tip is we can distribute moment to fix n. Okay, we can distribute moment to fix n. So, I draw an arrow like this. Can B, moment at B transfer to A? Yes. Yes, because A also fix n. I would like to draw like this. Okay, can B transfer to C? Yes. Yes. How about C to B? Yes. Yes. Correct. Remember, uh, at internal is always fixed in this method. Uh. Okay. So uh, this is how I have uh, put in here. Okay. So then another thing is the fixed end moment. Okay. They will be fixed end moment if there is a, a loading on your member. Okay, uh, treat the both end as fixed, fixed. Okay. Okay, for this example, we will do that. Okay, so but uh, when you, you will see different example, do ask me why. Okay, so now we were going to uh, use the fixed end moment every time we treat it as fixed, fixed condition. Okay, so now AB, we select the appropriate case, okay, then we determine the moments. So fixed end moment AB is PL over A, BA is PL over A. Okay, so if you can see that, P 
L over X. Okay, you get 20. Why negative? Because our sign positive is clockwise. So BA is 20. Okay, it's the same because it's a symmetry. And then uh, another case for member BC is 3 kN per meter. Okay, we select appropriate case, the UDL. Okay, for fixed fixed condition. The equation is WL squared over 12. Okay, so AB. Of course, not, now this is not AB. This is BC and this is CB. Okay, so you have WL squared over 12. So uh, don't confuse with stiffness uh, method. We don't sum up this fixed moment. Okay, we will remain at the end only uh, for that number. Okay, so now you have four fixed moment A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B. Okay, so done with this fixed and moment steps. So next we are going to start our moment distribution process. Okay, we put it in the table. Okay, what you can do here is you must have a join. Okay, put in the join. How many join? We have join A, B, C. Just put in A, B, C. Then put in the member. Okay, member. Okay, that attached to join A, we have A, B. The attached to join B, we have B, A and B, C. Okay, attached to C, we have C, B. Or in other words, this is the naming for the DF. DF, A, B. Okay, DFAB, DFBA, DFBC, and DFCB. Okay, if you don't want to put in as a member, you can just put in DF numbering. Okay, and then this DF uh, uh, row is to put in the value of your distribution, fac distribution factor that you have determined earlier. 0, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0. Okay, so now you have uh, determined uh, the fixed and moment. You put it at this row. Okay, this is the initial moment. Okay, that you must uh, uh, before put in in the table before the calculation. Okay, so what is the fixed and moment? Negative twenty for A B. Okay, twenty for B A. Okay, just just get the fixed and moment from here according to the naming. So the naming uh, uh, must be correct. Okay. Okay, can I get your attention again back? Okay, for those. So because I want to talk about uh, the process in this uh, moment distribution table. Okay, so it consists of uh, just now the step five, six, seven, five, uh, that I, I do not explain. I, I'm going to explain now. Okay, so what you need to do after you put in this uh, uh, data, we need to start with Number one, sum up all the moment at the joint. Okay, we talk about joint. Joint B, joint C. Okay, what are the moment? The initial moment first. Okay, so we sum up. So negative 20, let's say. Okay, for A. For B, there will be 20 minus 16. For C, there will be 16. Okay, we do join by join. Okay, so then the step two is balance up by multiply with negative one. Okay, so let's start with join, uh, join A. Okay, so negative 20, you sum up, it will be negative 20 because it's alone. The step two is multiply with negative one, it will become 20. Then, we distribute by multiplying the distribution factor at the same row. Okay? So, this negative 20 become 20 multiplied with df, which is 0. Okay? So, it becomes 0. Okay? So, this is the answer for this balance and distribute. Okay? We balance up, then we distribute it. Okay? Let's try again for joint B. Okay? Again. Number one, we sum up all the moment at the joint. 20 minus 16. Okay, or 20 plus negative 16. It will be 4. After that, that 4 we multiply by negative 1. Okay, so it will be become negative 4. 
negative 4, then we distribute by multiplying the df at the same column, actually. Okay, negative 4 multiply 0 0.4, you get negative 1.6. Negative 4 multiply 0 0.6, you get negative 2.4. Are you clear, class? <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, of course we can try another example later. Okay, so then you proceed with this. Uh, I mean, uh, join C. Okay, maybe we do it quickly. Sixteen. We balance sum up. Sum up will be sixteen. Multiply negative one will be negative sixteen. Then multiply with distribution factor, you get zero. Okay, so another uh, very important step is carry over. We have do this carry over, right? This arrow, we are going to put it in this table. Okay, this arrow. If you can see that, A can transfer to B, B can transfer to A. This arrow must be, uh, I mean, the, within the member, to, uh, uh, within a member. Okay, if you can see that A, B and B, A is a member. So the carry over must be within this member. Some of the students, they are confused with this. They put this arrow here. So I'm sorry, everything wrong. Okay, so please be remember, that is why I advise all to write this, I mean, draw this arrow here. So it is from B, A, or if you, if you cannot, then you, you see this, you can see this from B, A to A, B, from A, B to B, A. Okay, so from B, A to A, B, from A, B to B, A. Okay, from BC to CB, from CB to BC. So from BC to CB, from CB to BC. So not every cases you will have this uh, uh, two-way flow. Okay, so our 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 uh, uh, rules just now is with um, something wrong with this figure. So this, please help me to change your, uh, these slides. This example, this is fixed, not roller. Okay. So uh, we only um, uh, transfer to fix. So therefore, uh, this arrow is both way here because all the joints are fixed. Okay. So if, if there is an arrow, meaning that we carry half moments to fix end. Remember, the carry over factor is 0 0.5. Means that these moments, we multiply 0 0.5 or divide by 2, then carry over here. So negative 1.6 will become negative 0 0.8. Negative 2.4 will become negative 1.2. And 0, of course, will become 0, and 0 becomes 0. So you stop with this carry over uh, uh, process. You need to repeat again the balance and distribute carry over, balance and distribute, carry over, balance and distribute, until at the row, balance and distribute, the value is very small or equal to zero. Sometimes you might not be able to get to zero because uh, your these are fixed moments very large, maybe 1,000, 2,000, okay, 20,000. So if you get about 10, compared to the 20,000, okay, so you might uh, just stop it, okay, because it is already close, okay, to the answer, okay. Of course, if you have an Excel, uh, I mean, uh, uh, spreadsheet, uh, you can go, I mean, until uh, accurately at zero, okay. So you stop at balance and distribute when these uh, moments are very close to zero. Then the last step is you sum up the moment okay where you you start to sum up from the initial moment okay and continues until the end of these uh, uh, columns the balance and distribute so you just sum it up so this summation moment negative 20.8 18.4 8, and so on are all the uh, end moments okay of this uh, uh, problem okay then you can whoops then the, yeah, you can use these moments to draw a bending moment diagram and so on. So I think uh, 
we need to have a break of five minutes before we continue for the, the next example. Okay. So if you have any question, you can ask me now. I'm going to check your attendance. Okay, do we have Fatin Nabila here? Fatin Nabila. Haja Munira. Are you here?
OK, class, can we continue? Yes, madam. OK, huh? Yes. OK, so uh, please make sure you my slide is still uh, you, you, you still can see my slide. OK, we are going to uh, continue with this example too. OK, so I'm going to just uh, highlight what is the difference. OK, so now uh, this example to uh, determine all the support reaction, draw the shear bending moment diagram. OK, so what the moment distribution methods can give you is up to the uh, these uh, end moments only. OK, the remaining. Uh, <laughs> okay. The remaining uh, 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 process like support reaction, the draw the shear bending moment diagram will be based on uh, what uh, you have learned in uh, uh, your chap chapter one and uh, throughout uh, means that uh, by uh, using the uh, equilibrium, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, solving the equilibrium at the uh, cut section or at the joints. OK. So now let's uh, look at the, what is the difference between this example one and two. Uh, the difference is only the support A have changed to pin. OK. So meaning that uh, now this K. <coughs> AB or KBA, we need to use the three EI over L. OK, and we have remained this for EI over L. OK, for member BC. OK, uh, be careful lah, if there is different EI. OK, so you need to substitute this in the equation. OK, so the difference is here. First of all, the member stiffness, stiffness factor OK, uh, have changed. OK, for member uh, AB. OK, so the second things that you can change is the fixed and uh, moments and, and yeah carryover factor they uh, wet okay fix and moment uh, for fix and moment uh, you can always use the fix fix of condition okay there is no problem okay but uh, you can also use this uh, pin fix condition if your case is pin fixed. OK, so uh, in the process, uh, it may uh, uh, shorter. OK, but uh, it may only it may shorter only. OK, it depends on the, uh, uh, the, the moments from the other joints. OK, so there is uh, uh, one thing that you can amend here. OK, so uh, first is this one. The member uh, stiffness factors is different. OK, the second one you can change. I uh, mean, you can modify the fixed end moment for AB to pin fixed condition. OK, so you go to the template and find for pin fixed condition and then you will find that uh, this moment at A will become zero. OK, because pin fix condition and the other one will be 3 PL over over 16. OK, you go to find the template for this uh, fix and moments. OK, but if you want to remain fix fix con condition for uh, member AB, there is no problem. OK, I need to put a rule, uh, 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 some notes here. If you wish to use fix fix for a b uh, fix and moment a b okay is you can still get the answer okay OK, it's OK. If you still want to continue with fix fix for fix end moment uh, 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 when the, this uh, 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 for the pin fix condition. But if you say that if you want to use this uh, 
fixed fixed condition for 4EI over L here for BA? No, not, okay? So it is very strict here. So then carry over factor also cannot. Huh? So if this is being the arrow, the carry over arrow shall not go to A because it is spin. Okay, but it will go to fix. Okay, so this will be the arrow. Okay, uh, uh, the carry over will not carry over moments from B to A because A is pin N. Okay, very strict as well here. Okay, be careful. So next, so in the distribution factor, if you can see that uh, uh, it, it is shorter, okay, uh, steps, okay, put in the, you can put in the fixed moment, then you do a balance and distribute and carry over, okay, then the next balance, you shall stop at balance and distribute, okay, but uh, at the balance and distribute, you already know that all will become zero because this negative 4.669 multiply zero later, it becomes zero at this step. So it, it, it did not show here. Okay, so you sum up the moment. Okay, you get these uh, N moments. Okay, so uh, you can uh, study this uh, example later. Okay, but uh, uh, I would like to show you on how to get the support reaction. Okay, uh, from these N moments. Okay, what you can do here is you need to draw the uh, free body diagram uh, uh, for mem each of the member. Okay, and then applying these uh, moments that you have determined, okay, into the uh, uh, this uh, uh, free body diagram. Okay, for example, for this uh, member AB, if you can see that member AB, we have 20 kilonewton. Okay, and then we have uh, uh, 8 meter. So we just put it here. Okay, so 20 kilonewton is here. You have AY, you have a BY. Okay, and it is not found yet. It is unknown. And you apply this 25.34. This is positive. Therefore, you put it clockwise. Okay, then you get the summation M. A or MB equal to zero. Okay, maybe we can do it once. Okay, so we have 20 multiplied 4, okay, uh, plus 25.34 uh, minus uh, 8 BY equal to zero. Then you get your BY. Okay, so this is how you uh, determine your uh, reaction at the ends, okay? So if you can see that you have determined A, Y, B, Y, and here B, Y, and C, Y. So the support reaction at A, A, Y, you can take directly, okay, from A, Y, okay? And this B, Y, you will need to sum up, okay, from two of this member, okay? So from 13.17 and 13.75. 13.17 plus 10. So you get this BY value. And the CY, you can get it from this one. Okay, 10.25. Okay, and okay, the moment here, MC, okay, oops, you can directly get it from your uh, uh, table. Okay, so this is how you uh, analyze for your support reaction. And if you want to get the internal moment, then from the support reaction, you can cut section and get the bending equation. And you can get your shear force, axial force, okay, and the uh, internal moments at any any location. Okay, then it can help you to uh, draw your shear force diagram and also bending moment diagram. Okay, I would like to, uh, uh, I mean, the also uh, explain on this, uh, if you have a beam uh, which carries cantilever at the end, okay? So if you can see that this beam here is cantilever. So I will highlight what is the, I mean, uh, 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 something uh, uh, you should take note, 
Okay, the solution here, a moment does not get distributed in the overhanging span AB. Okay, please take note. Okay, so you shall not care, distribute the moments, carry over the moments to A. Okay, because there is no support there. Okay, so the distribution factor DFBA equal to zero. So BA no need to determine, it will be equal to zero. Okay, for this can deliver in. Okay, span BC is best on 4EI over L. Since the pin rocker is not at the far end of the pin. Okay. Mm, I have, it's, this is very subjective. I've actually prepared the uh, two solution here. Okay. So, uh, and I get the same answer. Okay, for both of these uh, 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 assumption. Okay, so in this case, it said that uh, because this pin rocker is not at the far end, so it treat it as uh, uh, fixed. Okay, fixed. Okay, so this is a solution type one. Assume B is fixed. Okay, but uh, I have also, uh, this is a moment distribution table. Okay, and I have also provide another solution, which is assume the B is pin. Okay, because, because just now, this is not in our either of our rules earlier because it is having a, a cantilever in. Okay, so I made another uh, solution which assume B is pin and I get the same answer if you can see that. Okay. But I have a very short uh, moment distribution table. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a... Uh, uh, my solution type number two, okay? Uh, when I assume this B is pin, okay? So what should I uh, do here? First of all, I uh, uh, determine the uh, member's difference factor, okay? Uh, in order for me to get the distribution factor, okay? Let us do it together. For K, uh, now we know that KBA the K is zero. Okay, this is still, uh, this is still applied. Okay, uh, this is still applied. The moment does not get into the overhanging span, so the DF for BA is zero. Okay. So now this KAB or KBA is zero. Okay, so now when I assume B is pin, okay, I assume this is pin. So KBC or KCB will be equal to 3EI over L. Okay, and KCD, this is fixed. So C, of course, it is fixed at the internal. So KCD or KDC will be 4 e out Okay, so this is why here we have 3 e i over L. L is 4 meter. Okay, just substitute the E given here. Okay, uh, sorry, it's I is different. I. Okay, I value. Now, uh, this B, C and C, B are the same member. Okay, and K, C, D is 4E, 4EI over L. Okay, so you get a 330, uh, 320E6E. Okay, so then how to get the DF? The DF is, we are going to get the DF here. DF BA, DF uh, BC, DF CB, DF CD, the F D C sorry. Okay, I'm highlighting a dot here so that you know uh, uh, which I'm referring the end of the member. Okay, so B A B C C B C D D C. We know that B A must be zero because of this K is already zero. And B C because it is pin, okay, we'll just get it one. 
here. OK, and we start to get uh, the F for CB. OK, the F for CB, the calculation is KCB divided by KCB plus KCB. OK, because it acts at C, join C. OK, so there are two members, CB plus CD. OK, so KCB is uh, this one, 2 to 5, E6, E and then divide by uh, KCB plus KCD. So just sum these two up, okay? Then you get 0 0.413 here, okay? If you're confident, at C, the sum, sum up of the DF must be equal to one. So this one can be uh, uh, obtained by one minus 0 0.413. If not, you carry out another uh, for, with this formula, KCD equal to, still you are talking about joint C. So join C, they are KCB plus KCD. So you get this 0 0.587. Okay, nothing so special. For fix, we have zero. Okay, so uh, the one that I would like to show you because of the cantilever is, you need to pay attention that at overhanging, the member is uh, stiffness factor zero. And the DF is zero. And you can treat it as fix or pin, but in this condition, I treat it as pin. Okay, therefore, for uh, join B, B, C is one. Okay, for fix and moment, again, you can always treat it as fix, fix, if you cannot find this template. Okay, the template where you have fix and pin. Okay, so now if you have a fix and pin, okay, for uh, we have member, uh, member B, C, uh, okay, that we have uh, 1,005 uh, Newton per meter. Okay, you can uh, use this uh, formula, WL squared over X, uh, to get the pin fixed condition, where at the pin fixed end moment is zero, and where, where at the, the other fixed end, we have WL squared over X. Okay, so uh, why this is, why this is positive? Anyone? Yes, correct, clockwise. Even though in this template, it show at this uh, uh, end of A. Okay, but in this real case, it show at the other, uh, it, at, at C. So you just mirror, I mean, mirror this template. Uh, so that uh, the fixed end is happening at the your right side. So you will get your moment, post, I mean, in a clockwise manner. So you have a positive uh, for fixed end moment CB. Okay. Something uh, maybe uh, uh, different from other example is this. If you have any loading at the end, okay, or any loading at your cantilever, okay, so you need to also determine the fixed end moment, okay. Just treat this fixed end moment uh, in this way. Just get it treating that you have a cantilever beam, okay. So this is AB, okay. This is uh, your loading 2000 Newton. So now your moments will be in this direction, I think. So it is positive. So what is the value? It will be this, to get this. Okay, so uh, this M, let's say, is, is actually equal to M. So it's equal to 2000 multiplied with the length. The length is 2 meter. So 2000 multiplied the length, you got 4000. So that is how you determine if you have any loading on your cantilever, okay, no need to determine uh, from I mean uh, from the template, okay, just uh, I mean use a uh, uh, determinate uh, I mean uh, uh, beams uh, to analyze, okay, this uh, fixed end moment, okay. So once you get your uh, DF, your fixed end moment, we can start to put it in your uh, moment distribution table, okay. So for example, you have join B, you can start. If you want to A, also can, but there will be nothing. There will be zero. Okay, so you will start with join B, join C, join D, and uh, connect to B, we have B A, okay, B C. Okay, connect to C, we have C B, C D. Connect to D, we have D C. Okay, so put in your D F value, put in your fixed end moment value. Then we start with balance and distribute. Okay, uh, let us do it again together here. Okay, how to do the balance and distribute. Let us do it at this uh, 
join B. Okay, when you talk about join B, okay, we talk about what is the first step? We sum up the moment at a join. Okay, which is this one? We sum up 4,000 plus zero at the join B. Then we balance by multiplying negative one. So it become negative 4,000. Okay, so then we distribute by multiplying with df at the uh, uh, columns. Okay, so now to get this value, just now we uh, we have sum up become uh, 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 4,000, then we balance it become negative 4,000, then we multiply with the df, zero. Okay, at the same column, so we get zero here. And multiply with one, we get negative 4,000. Are you okay, class? Yes. yes. Okay, so uh, let us try on this uh, join C. Okay, for join C, first you sum up the all the moment at join C, which is 3,000, and then balance it, you become negative 3,000, and then distribute it, you become Negative 3,000 multiply 0 0.413, you get this value, negative 1, 2, 3, 9. And negative 3,000, you multiply with 0 0.5 at 7, you get negative 1, 7, 6, 1. Okay, so now for carryover factor, I mean carryover steps. So you need to know that uh, uh, now we are treating this as pin. So there will be no moment transfer or distribute to carry over to B. Okay, only B to C and then both way C to D and D to C. That is why the arrow here, if you can see that, it is from BC to CB. Okay, BC to CB, this arrow. Okay, it will not have an arrow from CB to BC. Okay. So be careful, uh, you can draw this arrow uh, in the very beginning, okay? And from CD to DC, and from DC to CD, following this arrow. So you have this arrow, yeah. Okay, once you have identified this arrow, so you can carry out, uh, sorry, carry over half of this moment to the other uh, joint. So negative 4,000 divided by two become negative 2,000. Okay, so similarly for this negative 1761 divided by 2, you get negative 880. Okay, then you continue with this balance and distribute. So now at join B, there is no, no moments to distribute. Okay, okay, just now we haven't come to the second step of the balance distribute, right? Okay, and in this example, you can see that you are actually looking at uh, the moment at this. Uh, maybe I'll write here for second uh, uh, phase of balance and distribute. Okay, uh, read the moments from above uh, row. I will just say this. Okay, so means that you are referring to if you are you are, you are at this step, you are referring to this moment at this floor, uh, uh, row. So at B, there is no moment at all here. Zero, zero. So therefore, there will be zero, zero here. So you can skip. No need to write it. Okay, for uh, join C, you are going to have this. Okay, meaning that you are going to repeat. Okay, balancing uh, sum up of this moment, negative 2,000. Balance it, become 2,000. Multiply with 0 0.413, you get this value at 26. Multiply with 0 0.587, you get this value. Okay, so this is how you do your balance and uh, uh, distribute. Okay, then you continue with carryover. Uh, because this is not yet reached the zero. So you continue with carryover using the same arrow. There is no more arrow here because it is zero. Okay, so uh, you still have this. 
then you continue with the balance and distribute. Okay, but uh, you can uh, from the observation, you know that the next step balance distribute all will be equal to zero. Okay, because this five at seven multiply with zero later you get, get a zero. So you just stop lah, from here. Then you can sum up the value from uh, initial moment, which is at fixed moment. Okay, up to the end. Okay, of the uh, of the row. Then you get this as your final moments. Okay, then you can uh, continue with uh, if if you are asked to determine the internal forces or uh, the support reaction or draw bending moment diagram. Okay, that will be the subsequent work. But the moment distribution method uh, steps is up to this. Okay, moment distribution table. Okay, class, do you have any question for me? Okay, so if you don't have any more uh, questions, uh, actually, I would like to go through with this, uh, go through this with you, but I don't see uh, we have a sufficient time. Maybe you can uh, snap this, okay, uh, tutorial, okay, uh, to try it. Okay, I will give you this uh, answer uh, next class. Okay, can you snap this uh, tutorial? Okay, maybe I will snap it and proceed. Okay, class, uh, before I end my class today, I would like to uh, uh, remind all, not remind, announce. Okay, maybe I should. 